Hello everyone, my name is Pooja and this is the demo for my term project that is designing and comparing the performance of 128 type FIR filter with two approaches. First as a software on the NAS2 and the second one is the hardware as a filter on the FPGA board. So let's get started with the first option. Here I have the quarter system and I'm going to create a new project. Let's create a new project directory. Say software demo. Create a project name and a top level entity name. Right now we don't have any files to be added to this project so just click next. Now uh, these are the um, device settings that has to be done according to the code that you are using. In my case I am using uh, Altera D2 board so this all settings that I am doing is for according to the board that I am using. For simulation, I'm using models in Altera and the formats of my file will be a very large HTML file and we're all set. So a project has been created. Now let's go ahead and launch QSIS to create the system for our project. In QSIS, we can build our own system. So for this project, we'll need a NEOS processor add mm. and you can configure the processor that you want the next thing is chip memory and I'll just make it to 8k although I won't need that much but just to be on the safe side with JTEC add it's all good to go and of course the performance counter to count the number of cycles it's all set so let's give the clock and reset to all the modules the clock to the clock the external clock will will assign a pin assignment for this clock of course because it's coming from outside the board uh, yeah and uh, if uh, uh, yeah the NEOS 2 processor it uh, generates the data master which uh, uh, needs to go to all the other components since we don't know where can the data be transferred so and the instruction master is, is fetching the instruction so it's obviously from the on-chip memory only now here are too many errors it's because we haven't uh, assigned the base addresses so just go to system and assign base addresses it automatically assigns the base address so we don't have to worry about that and uh, one more thing is in the NEOS2 processor we have to set the reset in the exception vectors to be the on-chip memory and it will be out of errors you so next thing we're going to do is save the system and give the name as the one that you give to the top level entity that is FIR soft QSS go ahead and generate the system it will take a long time so so as we all see that QSIS is basically a system building software you can create your own component you can 
import the components that's already there in the component library create a whole your own system and uh, it creates when you generate it it creates a bunch of well log files that define your system and you can go ahead and play with that so in our case also it will create a bunch of well log files that will um, then uh, import it to the quarters and then burn it to the board again there are two options for that i mean it it creates a bunch of file log and system file log files if you want we can uh, copy them all and uh, okay so uh, that's the next step so uh, as we are all done with this just close it go to quarters and as i was just mentioning that it it, it, it will create a file log files for the system that we just created on the QSIS and uh, uh, there were two options so let me show you both this thing the system okay so in the sub modules folder there are a bunch of file log and system value files so the option one is you import all these files and this file and this file to your quarters or <coughs> the simple way that which I'm going to follow is just import the QIP file add apply okay all set now as i said the clock is coming from outside that's the only uh, input output port that we are using from the fpga so we need to assign a pin assign assignment for that <coughs> excuse me clock, clock. and uh, remember that for every pin that we assign for the fpga we need to uh, define two things the the location and the io standard so also for this thing this uh, clock uh, pin we are going to give those two parameters now these values are uh, uh, specific for the one board so it may vary from uh, board to board save it uh, compile it again will take a bit longer so the next step we'll do is uh, attach our board and burn this whole system onto the board So while this is being done, I'm keeping my board and just switching it on and you see all the lights fluctuating. Uh, you can of course uh, ignore these warnings, so you don't have to worry uh, until we face any error. <coughs> Over here, uh, you can see the progress. Okay, so we are all uh, set. The compilation has been done. And as I mentioned, now we are going to burn this up in our FPGA board <coughs> using the programmer. So, uh, over here, uh, suppose we don't have any file over here. <coughs> two things that have to be kept in mind one is the hardware setup thing it has to be the usb blaster if it's not there just check your computer setting and install the usb blaster and the mode has to be jtag uart because that's the interface that we have generated in uh, sorry uh, imported in our qsys Q system <coughs> and uh, let's add the sof file and start burning Two indicator indications are there that confirms that our uh, uh, our system is successfully burnt. One is the progress of course; it shows that it is 100% successful. 
and the other thing is in your uh, D1 board <coughs> over there the fluctuating lights gets steady that is indication that uh, your uh, processor is being burned so just to yeah. okay and uh, the next thing we'll do is launch NEOS 2 software build tools over here it will ask us for the workspace so this should be the same workspace on which we are working so in our case it's software demo just make sure it's the correct one okay over here I will go and create a new NEOS2 application in BP, BSP from template It asks us to uh, uh, specify a SFPC info file. So, drag it from where uh, we just created uh, our directory. That is this one, and here you can have you will see the SFPC info file. Just open it, and in that file, that is basically the QC system. So a, in there, whatever name we have given to the CPU, it will appear automatically over here. If it doesn't, then something is wrong with your file or the destination or the path that it is mentioning. So in our case, since we have just one CPU, we have just one option. Give it a name as Yes. Okay. And um, yeah, I don't mind if uh, it's uh, default location or not. And uh, just to check, we'll uh, use the project template as the Hello World small because uh, as compared to Hello World, it will uh, it will go through less a library and occupy uh, less space. So just finish it, and it will uh, give you two project projects in the project explorer window <coughs> so uh, as you can see fir soft neos that is the name of our project as uh, clean complete uh, if you see here we have a c code that simply prints out uh, a hello from NEOS2 and to check our connections and integration with the board we'll, we'll run this one first and then we'll switch on to our FIR code so right click and boot project Again, we'll click a bit longer. Okay, so it's all done. Yeah, and we'll now run it as a NEOS2 hardware, and we will hope that we'll get a hello from NEOS2 in our console window. That is over here. it's all done so we got a hello from uh, neos2 that means our uh, all our connections and all our integration with the board and everything is correct so uh, in the place of this c code i'll i'll replace it with my c code of my fir filter which is this and i'll simply copy it Instead of this, I'll 
maximize it and it and keep it over here so this is my C code for uh, my FIR filter I'll save it and just like I did in the previous one I'll simply run it as a NEOS2 hardware if there are some uh, compilation error it will pop up or else it will go smoothly and whatever I have uh, printed in this one will show it up in my console window oh I forgot to explain my C code I'll do it later once I get the outputs okay So, uh, so this is uh, this is what my output from the C code is. The output of the FR is minus thirty four, and it took eighteen one lakh eighty six thousand one hundred and seventy five. That is one eight six one seven five cycles. So, it's quite much. Anyway, so as I forgot to uh, explain my C code. So I'm giving the input uh, inputs the 128 coefficients and 128 datas, and then I'm running a while loop to uh, just uh, multiply and accumulate them for uh, 127 times. I'm initializing my performance counter just before I start the loop, and as soon as I finish it, uh, finish the loop, I am stopping this uh, performance counter. So it basically counts the number of cycle uh, in between and it has given me that it is 186175 cycles so that's the end of our first part and uh, the next is the hardware uh, uh, new uh, fire filter is the hardware accelerator thank you